What's going on you guys and welcome back to the ARA show. So in today's video I'm going to be revealing all the holdings that I have inside of my Roth IRA as well as my strategy for my Roth IRA account. So this video can really help you out if you're looking to build a Roth IRA or you don't know what strategy to follow. So hopefully I'll be able to give you guys some good holdings or some good ideas. So with that being said, if you want to see all that, stay tuned and cue that intro. All right, so before we hop into this video, if you came here looking for understanding what a Roth IRA is, or if you just wanna know what you can do about a Roth IRA or how you can set it up, I would highly recommend checking out my other video first where I talk about the basics about Roth IRA and I go way more into the complexity. So if you wanna learn more about that, definitely check out that video I'm gonna link up here. And then you can come back here and learn a little bit more about the strategies and investing into a Roth IRA. So with that being said, let's hop into my Roth IRA account. All right, so I'm using M1 Finance to host my Roth IRA. So you can see that I'm up about $43.94 and I have a return about 4.37%, which isn't huge or anything like that. But one thing to note is that I actually had my Roth IRA located in my Acorns account. So if you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know that I had my Roth IRA there and then I just recently transferred it over to M1 Finance. And the reason for that is because it gives me a lot more control where Acorns just picks out the stocks for you or the ETFs. And then at least in this Roth IRA on M1 Finance, you can pick whatever you want, whether it's ETFs or individual stocks. So that's why my gain return isn't as great because I just recently transferred over. But with that being said, let's take a look at my holdings and this is the best part of the video. All right, so right off the bat, you can tell I have about five holdings. I've got an ARK fund, QQQJ, a Vanguard fund, SCHG, and SCHD. So if you were thinking that a Roth IRA holdings had to be complicated, it really doesn't have to be. And the reason for that is, first of all, we're not going to be able to access this money until we're 59 and a half years old. And I'm guessing by the time I'm, I'm that age, I'm not going to really be caring too much about money. I just want to have some growth and some stable retirement fund where I can basically take out this money if needed. Honestly, in my opinion, and I really don't think that I'm going to need or be too much into money at this time in my career, especially if I'm that old. I don't know, like, what am I going to do with all that money? And then the other reason is I'd rather have something safe than a bunch of random stocks just because if I have something safe, I can also double this as a backup account or an emergency fund. And that's because, as I mentioned in that video before, and again, guys, if you really don't know about Roth IRA, I would definitely check out that video. But back to what I meant. You can use this as an emergency fund because whatever you funded in your account, you can take that out. So you can't take out your profits, but you can take out what you're funded. So if you're going through something crazy, like a medical emergency or something like that, you can totally take out what you invested and then you can leave in the profits. So that's one cool thing about the Roth IRA. And that's why I decided to choose basic funds like VOO, uh, SCHG, and so on. I also like to have a little bit of risk. As I mentioned, I don't really care too much about the capital appreciation in the long term after I retire. I'm hoping that I can retire at an earlier age and that's why I have a little bit of risk in here. That's my personal strategy. You guys, of course, don't have to do that. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just some dude on YouTube. So that's why I have things like ARK K and QQQJ. These ones are a little bit more risky. They're looking at future valuation as compared to SCHG and VOO. These two are a little bit more reliable, especially VOO. You can literally just pick VOO and then keep that as your sole ETF and just invest into that over the course of your Roth IRA period. And then I also like to have a little bit of dividend appreciation. So I got SCHD in there. Again, guys, I'm overcomplicated in my opinion. You guys can do it however you like. VOO and maybe one or two of these other safe funds is good enough. All right, so let's talk about my long-term strategy with my Roth IRA. So the whole premise behind a Roth IRA is there are no tax implications. Of course, it does get a little complex. So again, guys, I'd recommend checking out that video. But basically, when you sell something inside of your Roth IRA, you don't have to pay taxes for it. So my whole goal is to build as much capital appreciation as possible. And I'm going to do that through these two ETFs over here, RK and QQQJ, because these are most likely the ones that are going to grow faster than some of these other ones. So the whole goal is for these ones to grow as much as possible. And then before I turn 59 and a half, I'll sell them off and reallocate them to high dividend yielding companies like AT&T, for example. And yeah, I know AT&T is technically splitting, but this is just an example. So AT&T gives about 7% dividend yield. So now with all these funds, I can put it all into a company where I get 7% dividend yield. And then the cool part about all of that is at a certain point in your Roth IRA, you won't be able to 
put as much money as you can get back from dividends and the dividend yield. So that's a really cool thing is I can technically contribute to my account a lot more through dividends and reinvesting those dividends than I can through just funding my account. So that's the whole goal. Hopefully I'll be able to sell these off at a high value and then I'll be able to reallocate that to high dividend companies and get that huge dividend. And that's basically the whole goal of my Roth IRA is to kind of just build as much capital appreciation, sell it off for high dividend yielding companies and just chill with what I got. Before we move on to about how much I invest every single week, let's talk about my portfolio and break it down by percentages. So we've got about 40% into risky high growth stocks or ETF, so RK and QQQJ. And of course, they're not that risky, but it's still a little bit more risky than some of the other ones. And then to kind of balance that off, I've got 40 more percent allocated to the S&P 500 and U.S. large cap growth. So these are very nice for the short term and the long term. They're still going to be growing either way. And these are kind of here to hold down my overall portfolio. And then, of course, I've got my dividends. So these are dividends that are going to be coming in the short term as well as the long term. So you can see that I kind of try not to overthink my portfolio and that's how I am in general. I like to overthink and kind of maximize my portfolio. But at the same time, I didn't want to go too crazy. Like I said before, you're totally fine just going with a Vanguard, a VOO or even a VGT or something like that. You don't have to go too crazy with your Roth IRA strategy. This is just my own personal strategy. So with that being said, let's kind of show you guys how much I invest every single week. All right, so this is a dividend calculator and I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check it out and use it for yourself. It kind of just personalize and adjust it for yourself. So back to the dividend calculator, of course, this is a not taxable account because it's a Roth IRA. We're going to reinvest our dividends. And then right now my account is about $1,000. And then the annual contribution is going to be $6,000. And with the Roth IRA, the maximum that you can contribute before the age of 50 is $6,000. And then after that, $7,000 until 59 and a half. So we're just going to keep it basic. We're not going to lowball it or highball it. We're going to keep everything moderate. So we're going to say $6,000. And then my annual dividend yield is about 1.3%. So you can see it right over here. And again, you guys can adjust it to however you'd like. The expected annual, we're going to keep it 1% and then 7%. Even though the S&P 500 over the last 50 years has increased by 9.6% about, we're just going to keep it basic and say 7%. And then on top of that, we're going to be in the market for 35 years. So right now I'm 23 and then basic math, about 35 years from now will be 58, 59. And then after we calculate our dividends, we can see that the ending balance is going to be $1.2 million. And then the annual dividend income is going to be $22,000. And again, guys, this isn't 100% true to my strategy because around maybe the 55, 54 year mark, I'm going to actually sell out a lot of companies and then get more into the annual dividend to get those dividend companies. But nonetheless, the whole point is to kind of see that if you invest every single week, so that $6,000, if you divide it by 52, because there's 52 weeks, it comes out to about $115. So $150 every single week into these companies will most likely get me around $1.2 million of tax-free income, basically making me a millionaire. And on top of that, I get about 22K in annual dividends. So that's just amazing. And this is the whole strategy. Currently, I don't invest that much because $115 is a lot to me. I'm just a recent grad. So yeah, I'm not making that much money right now. So I have to kind of focus on some other things. But hopefully soon I'll be able to invest about $115. I'll keep you guys updated. But that's basically the cool thing about my strategy with the Roth IRA and how I'm going to plan to invest into this Roth IRA. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys like the strategy or what your strategy is. And if you guys got any value out of this video or if I helped you in any way, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. And especially if you have a question, you guys can totally email me, leave a comment. I reply to every single comment. Or you can even hit me up on Instagram, hit me with a DM, let me know your questions, and hopefully I'll be able to help. So again, guys, I do completely appreciate you guys for watching my video. It does mean a lot. I'm trying to get to 100 subs, so please hit that sub button. It really means a lot. And guys, remember, everybody eats.